When I wake up in the morning, my back feels tight and I feel old. What can I do? And my answer is, how about a short mobility and stretching routine that will help you with that specific point so that when you wake up in the morning, you're not like my back, my back, my back. When you wake up in the morning, you think, I'm gonna do my stretches and I'm gonna feel better. I'm Winnie Lingovic and I run the Elevate practice. I teach classes in person and online. I've been a best-selling author, a strength coach, a yoga teacher, but most of all, I am here just to be on your journey as we navigate this epic journey of life. The way that we elevate our practice is that we get curious. What happens if I make my hips more level or if I breathe a little bit deeper or I think a little bit more about relaxing versus pushing? The way that I elevate my practice is that I think of it as a practice and not a performance. The way that I elevate my practice is how can we make this useful and usable for us today and not reflect on how it was two weeks ago or two months ago or two years ago, but be in here now because that is what is useful and usable for us. A practice, an exercise routine, something that we do to make us feel better. It's a very individual thing. But I have found that even though it's an individual thing, exercise is an individual thing, we do our best when we are in community. And what's so great is that the right exercise class will start you off small, one little thing. And those little things add up, it's like planting seeds. And if you just keep planting those seeds, you can increase your stability, your ability, your balance, even after a certain age. And the right exercise class, and there's a million of them, will offer you options. And that's what it's about. That's what fitness is about, that's what wellness is about, that's what health is about is about having options and knowing what option works for you. So intention behind exercise, whether you are working on getting stronger, recovering from an injury, or just wanna feel better in the body you woke up in today is super important. We are looking for the effect of the exercise and not necessarily a goal that you have to do 10 of this or 20 of that. And that is so much, it takes the pressure off and it makes exercise not something you have to do, but something you get to do. And the best way to build a class, the best way to build a workout, is to learn enough about your body and how your body responds. So within the context of a class, whether it's a video or a small group class or a large group class, you can make these autonomous decisions for yourself. Does that feel good for me? How can I make this better for me? And when you can't do something, it's not like, oh, I'm horrible, I'm a beginner. No, I am making the correct choice for me. Because what's the goal of class? We talk about this all the time. Number one, it's to feel better. That's the first goal, like nothing else is more important. And then number two, and this is when it gets interesting, is to learn something new about the body you've lived in all your life. And especially when people are over 50, they think, oh, all I know is that I'm feeling cranky, I'm feeling it's tight, I'm feeling weak, but actually no, there's so much to learn. And one of the ways that we can stay consistent in exercise is to get curious, like, oh, what happens if I did this for five minutes a day, every day, for a week? Would my neck feel less? What if I did this, what if I took this class twice a week for four weeks? Would my hips be less cranky? So instead of having the goal of how do I look, how do I feel? And the reason why I think people keep coming back to an exercise class is because it's fascinating. Oh, I didn't know that if I showed up and I did 20 minutes a day, I can feel so much. And what we're trying to do as human beings, and we're all in this together, is share what we have learned so far. And we all, whether you are a 12 year old, 20 year old, a 60 year old, an 80 year old, we all have things to share. We're all figuring out things as we go. And my backyard studio allows me to share what I have figured out. That a practice is a way to help feel better in and about the body you live in. A practice is a way to find connection and to help you through the ups and the downs and the ins and the outs and everything in this mystical, magical journey we call life.
Of course, the best time to start is yesterday, but the second best time to start is today. 